Hi, my name is Simon Kim. I'm 17, and for the past 30 days, I've gotten up at 7 a.m. and ran a mile. I was in no way prepared for this. I'm totally out of shape, and I still am out of shape, but I can say with 100% certainty that this experience did indeed change my... Just kidding, it didn't really change my life. But here's what this experience taught me. <laughs> Before I get into this video, I have to introduce you to my longtime friend and neighbor Matt. Now Matt graciously decided to join me on this journey of running a mile every single morning, except for the tiny fact that he is training for a half Ironman and runs like 7 miles already per day, so needless to say, he kicked my butt. I would like to make it clear that I have ran zero miles in the past like month, or actually I never run. So running a mile a day is going to be pretty challenging, but I think we can do it. At the beginning of this challenge, I decided to write down a list of 10 different goals that I wanted to achieve during quarantine. It is scientifically proven that writing down your goals gives you a way higher chance of actually succeeding, so I decided to write down some crazy goals. Obviously, the biggest goal of mine during this quarantine challenge was to get up at 7am each day and run a mile. But I also added some smaller challenges such as learning how to use Premiere Pro to edit, reading a book, creating one video a day and one YouTube video per week, which I, I totally did not accomplish, but we're just going to ignore that. Anyways, without further ado, with all those goals written down, I decided to start the quarantine challenge. Alright, so welcome to day one of the quarantine challenge. It's literally thunderstorming outside, so I don't know how far we're going to get, but let's go try to run a mile. Alright, Matt, how do you feel? Day one? Feel good. Feel good? Oh yeah, rain yeah. stopped? Yeah, rain stopped. We're good. Um, this is Matt, so Matt is training for a half Ironman, so sure. this will hopefully be cake for him. Yeah. But I don't know about me, but we'll see. Alright, see you guys after the run. Eternity later. <laughs> how do you feel? Feel good. Refresh. Feel good? How about you? I feel pretty good, honestly. I'm surprised, but yeah, day no, one. No lightning, we're alive, we're good. Yes, sir. So, just finished reading like 70 pages of this. I'm Let me just stop you right there. So here's me talking about the book I'm reading. It's really boring, so I'm just gonna save you the time and we're just gonna skip this part, okay? Sounds good? Good. Matt, day five, how do you feel? Good. Feel good? Yeah. It is day six of the quarantine challenge. I'm feeling good. I feel like I'm finally over that hump and it's gonna be good because we've almost done this for a week and in hindsight that's not a lot of time but it's felt like a while. Not in a bad way either but you know I'm gonna get this run in and feel better about myself. Good morning just back from day nine. Ninth mile ninth day. Look at this lazy dude. Hi squirt. Alright, so it's about 6 a.m. right now. I wanted to get up early today uh, because I wanted to work on some stuff before I went out and got my run in. Now that we are in quarantine, it has become way easier than ever to stay static and make excuses for not trying new things. But here's the thing. Overcoming challenges gives us a sense of fulfillment that can't be replaced by any amount of dopamine. Binge watching Netflix all day may give you a laugh, may give you a smile, but at the end of the day, what keeps us humans going and drives us to accomplish more is that sense of overcoming challenge. This is more important than ever now, and we have to keep challenging ourselves to try new things, and that was my goal for the quarantine challenge. Hey guys, um, I feel like I haven't properly addressed this yet, um, but crazy things have happened in the last week in terms of just connections and just reaching out to people. And, and the craziest thing is, <laughs> I actually got in contact with Yes Theory. 
So after around day 15, I actually stopped recording. So I didn't even know if I was gonna post this video, but I can assure you that every single day for the last month, we have been running a mile each morning. Honestly, I didn't even wanna post this video, but I just decided to slap it all together at the last second, and it did come out pretty nicely. I actually did end up hitting 200,000 followers on TikTok, which was the craziest thing ever. Uh, as for the other goals, I have not finished them, but I am planning to extend this challenge for the next 30 days, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try a bunch of new stuff. I think it's important to realize what you can control in life, and we can't control our current situation of being quarantined. It sucks a lot, but you have to realize that nothing you do will change that. So instead, look for the positives and try something new that you've always wanted to try, or use this time to build your own business, brand, or build yourself as a person and work on self-improvement. In a way, right now, we're all being forced to take a big step back and a deep breath. And I think in this time, you can actually accomplish a lot if you just look at the positive side. As for me, I'm gonna do my best to continue working on myself and working on self-improvement. It's been great making this video, a great experience doing this, and I'm gonna continue to keep running every single morning. And overall, it's been a pretty tough couple of months, but it has turned out to be one of the best couple of months of my whole entire life, because I ended up focusing on the positives. As always, keep it wholesome. I'm always here for you. Have a good day. Hey guys, look at my hair, it's crazy. But today is day 30 of the quarantine challenge. And today we are going to pace our one mile times. I'm just trying to get something under seven minutes around there. Um, I'm pretty slow, but yeah. Last day, it's kind of crazy, but this happened so fast and we're already here. <laughs> Last day, Matt ran a 5.30. Yeah, time mile. All right, a second twenty. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. Whew.